so far all the serious uh, videos I've done have uh, gained me support and gained me subscribers. Uh, they've been very uh, popular with the pro gun community. So although this time I do one that's probably going to lose me some subscribers, but it is what I feel. Uh, and it's going to be addressing the, the, uh, the idea that guns equal violence and crime. Now we all know that's a ridiculous idea. Guns are tools that do not equal violence or crime. Having a tool does not equate to using that tool in a negative way. Uh, we, but you want to know what does equal violence and crime? Poverty equals violence. Poverty equals crime. Uh, mental illness equals crime and violence. Uh, when someone is involved in criminal activity, the number one most determining factor whether a person is ever going to be a criminal is their socioeconomic status. That's the number one determining factor. It's not race, it's not nationality, it's none of those things. The number one factor is how poor you are. And also another factor is if you're mentally ill. And unfortunately, it's not the severely mentally ill people that we catch. It's the people that are mildly mentally ill, that are just mentally ill enough to be disturbed or know something's wrong with them and to be frustrated and angry, but not be severe enough that they can't function to where they're noticed. So those things actually do equal violence and crimes. Guns do not. That's a red herring. Uh, now, but the problem is, every time someone tries to address the actual problems, the poverty, the mental illness, there's certain factions of our own gun community of the more conservative group that stand up and yell socialism every time someone tries to do something that's positive for their society, that tries to deal with these issues. So you can't stand and say, <clears throat> leave guns alone, deal with the real issue if you don't let people deal with the real issue. Now, I've always believed that there is a great deal of personal responsibility that anyone has if they live in an organized society that they benefit from. And don't fool yourself. You're fucking benefiting from living in this country. There are societies that do not do the things we do, that do not have the social structures we have. I've been to them. People who've been in the military have been to them. Most of you out there that want to scream and yell about what happens in this country and how you have to pay taxes, if you were dropped in one of these countries for a day, you'd be on your damn knees begging and crying to get back to this country. So I don't want to hear all the, oh, it's socialism crap, because you don't even know what you're talking about. You have no frame of reference. In any organized society, uh, Obama got a lot of slack the other day for saying things about someone built those roads, someone built those bridges. If you have a business, you didn't build those roads and bridges, and you didn't. Your society built those roads and bridges. I had a bar. I didn't pay for the main street that ran in front of my road. I paid taxes that contributed to it, but believe me, if I'd have had to pave the road so people could come to my bar, I could have never opened a business. If I'd have had to build a bridge so people could get from Washington to Oregon to come to my business, I never would have been able to do that. Society gave me that benefit by doing it through social programs. So those kind of things are necessary for growth and development. So when we stand up and we fight everything like that, well then we can't be surprised when people come for our guns. So if you're going to stand up and say, well guns don't equal crime, you've got to fight the real problem, well then be willing to be part of the solution for the real problem. Don't be standing up screaming. Now I'm not talking about legacy welfare and things like that. That's a red herring from the right, just like gun violence is a red herring from the left. The vast majority of people that are ever on welfare are on it for a very short period of time. And I'm not even talking about welfare. I'm talking about strengthening our mental health system. I'm talking about providing job assistance. I'm providing talking education, providing education assistance. Things that help people get a step up. I'm not talking about just handing someone money for doing nothing. Give them opportunities to climb out of the hole of poverty. Uh, if someone is in that hole and they see no way out, then of course they resort to crime. Uh, the, uh, it's just a big uh, thing that they do. It's just the only thing they see they can do. So if you give them a ladder to climb out of that hole, then maybe then not too many people will turn to crime. And it's been proven in society and uh, lower income schools where they go in and give them extra assistance and extra aid for college. They have a much higher, lower dropout rate, a much higher success rate with their students, and it, the society as a whole benefits from it. So. These people that talk about personal responsibility, libertarians, tea partiers, they want to talk about personal responsibility. Well, realize your personal responsibility doesn't stop at your front yard. It doesn't stop at your front door. Your, your, your personal responsibility, if you're benefiting from the society you live in, you have a responsibility to that society. Start living up to it. Stop being part of the problem. Start being part of the solution, especially if you don't want people coming after nonsense things like your guns. So 
uh, not nonsense things like your guns, but if you don't want nonsense programs like people saying, well, we'll just come get your guns if you don't, if we, if we can't solve crime, we'll solve it that way. Because we know that doesn't work. So start being part of the solution. Stop with all this nonsense of fighting back and forth over a word like socialism and stop using it incorrectly. Of course, there's socialist programs in this country. There's socialist programs in every organized society. So just to sum this up, the part that's going to lose me a lot of subs is stop bitching and moaning about what you get from living in this country. Start living up to your responsibility and start being part of the solution. Take care of the real problems this country faces. That way we don't have to fight false wars like the war on guns.